Cocker Spaniel Pros and Cons. The Good and the Bad. In today's video, we are going to talk about the pros and cons of a Cocker Spaniel. Hi guys and welcome to our YouTube channel. We are Cocker Spaniel World and we generally talk about all things dogs, not just Cocker Spaniels. Please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel if you would like to receive more dog tips and health related content. So let's get to the video. Pro number 1. A loving breed. Cocker Spaniels simply love to please their owners. Cocker Spaniels are a social breed of dogs, so they are going to appreciate a family situation where they can get a lot of cuddles and attention. Be careful though, as it's a Cocker Spaniel's initial instinct to try and be the dominant master in the pack. With proper training however, he will soon settle into the family with you as his pack leader. This takes us perfectly onto our next pro. Pro number 2. Easily trainable. Okay, so maybe training any dog isn't easy, but Cocker Spaniels are highly receptive to proper efficient training. They enjoy the training tasks set out each day for them and will catch on very quickly to commands and gestures. For more information on our recommended training, see the description below. Pro number 3. Sociable and adaptive. Cocker Spaniels have a tendency to mix very well with humans of all ages. They also get on very with other dogs, especially when they are introduced to other species from an early age. Most Cocker Spaniels are generally very sweet-natured and friendly towards people. Pro number 4. A healthy breed. Cocker Spaniels are considered a very healthy breed of dog with a good life expectancy. Although certain ailments are common to Cockers, they do have an average lifespan of 12 to 15 years with some living to almost 20 years old. Pro number 5. Perfect family dogs. Cocker Spaniels are one of the best breeds of dog when it comes to kids. They thrive around kids, especially those aged 6 years and older. This is because they can have a good play with children and aren't too big that they could hurt them. They are also very robust and won't mind a good wrestle with the kids. My children have spent many a sunny afternoon in our back garden playing on the grass with our black Cocker Spaniel. He's called Guinness and is 14 years old now. Pro number 6. Multiple choice of colors. If you are considering bringing a Cocker Spaniel home to your family, you have a choice of color. There are at least 7 recognized colors to choose from where some other breeds only come in one or two colors. Pro number 7. Silky coat without much casting. Cocker Spaniels have a wonderful smooth silky coat which must be maintained through diet and regular grooming. Their coat also needs cut as they are not a dog that casts its coat. I will add though that although do not cast in general, they will lose some hair to some degree which is another reason to keep on top of their coat with regular brushing. So we have covered what I consider to be the pros of Cocker Spaniels, now it's time to take a lot at the cons. Con number 1. Their energy levels. This won't be a con to some people but a Cocker Spaniel has very, very high energy levels. They are the type of dog that you can exercise for hours at a time but would still jump at the chance to go straight back after another walk or a run along the beach. If your Cocker doesn't get enough exercise during the day, believe you me, he is going to let you know about it. If you are elderly or cannot walk for long distances etc then a Cocker Spaniel may not be the best choice of dog for you. Con number 2. Certain types of children. Not to sound stereotypical, but a Cocker Spaniel won't react well to certain types of behavior, usually seen in very young children. Yes Cockers can be great with kids, my Cocker has seen all three of my kids born without any problems at all but they tend to react poorly to pulling and nipping from small children. The odd time that my kids did this, my dog just got up and walked away but many Cockers have been known to bite and nip back in this situation. This can get out of hand if both the child in question and the dog aren't dealt with. Con number 3. Food aggression. Cocker Spaniels can be very greedy dogs. If my Springer Spaniel went anywhere near him at feeding time he would snap and snarl at him. You also have to be careful not to encourage a Cocker to eat your food. He will quickly come to associate your meal times as his treat time. I have seen situations like this develop to the point where the Cocker Spaniel just jumps up and takes the food of the plate. They will specifically target children's plates too. Cockers can be very sly and are smart with it so be on guard. Con number 4. Maintaining their appearance. Regardless of whether you plan on showing your Cocker Spaniel with a long flowing coat or simply having him trimmed short, be prepared for constant grooming. Regular brushing and clipping are a must to stop tangling of the dog's hair as well as keeping the slight shedding under control. 
Like I said early, cocker spaniels don't really shed but they eventually will lose hair naturally if not groomed and cut. Con number 5. Ear problems. Cockers are prone to ear infections as are most spaniels or other dogs that have large floppy down ears. They make the perfect breeding ground for infection as this area is prone to bacteria and moisture due to lack of airflow. This can often make their ears smell if not properly cared for. Con number 6. Cocker Rage Syndrome. Rage syndrome looks like an exaggerated form of status or dominance aggression. It is usually triggered by the unexpected approach of people when the dog is dozing. The dog snaps alert then attacks, biting and savaging. This may continue for some time, then just as suddenly as it started, it stops. I'm going, to be honest here and stress that I have never ever seen this happen in person nor do I know anybody with a cocker who has had this happen but it's well documented so I thought I better mention it on this list. That's the end of the pros and cons of a cocker spaniel. To be honest, I could have listed plenty more pros but thought I better keep things fair. To read our full blog post on cocker spaniel shedding or to visit our recommended cocker spaniel trainer, please refer to the links below in the description. One will take you to our preferred trainer, the other will take you to our blog. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.